okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a PB. Was a fucking trash run too. <laughs> uh, that shows if you're just like okay consistency wise in the end game, you can PB. <laughs> it's the 69 bits. That's because it wasn't a good PB. is free exactly <laughs> checks gets it just don't just don't have them like there was no major mistakes in there there were definitely a ton of like small to intermediate mistakes but if you if you could do a run of rmg like at a high level if you do a run without any major mistakes you can get a good time like the thing with rmg is avoiding Avoiding major blow-ups. Let's see, type this is Ambrosia. Um, I'll try to change my title while I'm going through escape. <sighs> Ladder. Ambrosia. Done. We did it. Yeah, I gave my opponent a 30 second handicap. Yeah, we got boots and pod. I'm just gonna pin notepad to my taskbar. I use it for every rando, so. Notepad. Yeah, like, <laughs> like legitimately, I wasn't expecting that run to like be decent, you know. So I was expecting to just like cut the run in Agonim's Tower, basically, prep. But uh. Can't do that when I have a, like 30 seconds to save on Ganon. <laughs> Alright, I'm banned from Zelda, but she's following me. I can't help it. I just happened to find her in a jail cell. And like, you know. Thanks, Andrew. We just got a link to the past peeb. A real peeb. Now we're doing this ladder race. Hello. Did not have time. Also violating the six tile rule of social distancing. Now right, well, we're getting all the health.
Got three bombs as well, which is decent. Thanks, better. Thanks for the GL. Early glove, early master sword. Nice. Just want to know what the rats drop, man. I'm going to split. 547 escape, Pog Champ. Uh, bombs were from Uncle. Holy moly. What? 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 Probably check Lumberjack. It's a little late now, but. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I'll actually take this. Congrats on the Holy moly, dude. Don't sit the bed during this match. Jay Coriel with the 100 million bits. Holy moly. Thank you so much, dude. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. That is a lot of biddies. Um, I should have checked Aghanim, or Lumberjack. So with, with Boots and Pod, Boots are most likely accessible. And like, once I get a Lamp, I have Aghanim access, which gets me Dark Worlds, opens Lumberjack, and gets me Boots, most likely. Um, so the Boots... Or the lumberjack check here probably would have been more beneficial than like other times, just considering where the boots are. Um, a lot of times, you know, you don't know where the boots are, so checking lumberjack is, you know, just oh, and you get the boots. It's still that way, but it could have been potentially worth it to like know to to like just do agonim, you know, right when we get a lamp to go get boots as soon as possible to open lumberjack as soon as possible. But that's okay. Wow. We're fat stacks right now. <laughs> I just think about Tempered Sword early, I suppose, is I can do all of my, like, peak boss strategies. So I can potentially save time on execution. Not that my opponent's like bad. But there's more of a chance that I'll lose time on bosses compared to normal if I have worse weapons. Or like I usually do boss fights as optimally as possible. If I have tempered sword. It was, they were out. They were... Fuck. They were out of Pam, they were out of one other thing, and then the... Sun-dried tomatoes were out and there was no, like, alternative. Uh oh. I can't believe the chickens are immune to Bombos. Hey! So the situation I was just talking about... Um... Okay, so this is fine. I'm just gonna go... to Death Mountain... early. We don't have a Moon Pearl yet, so like, I'm not, I'm not gonna just go do Aghanim right now, but, um...
Having one bomb for this also kind of sucks. Might just do Death Mountain now? This is a weird situation. Bomb count sucks. Um, I can buy bombs, so that's not really an issue. I have a lot of money. But I also want money for Zora. Zora was already in logic, so it's not like, you know, it is now in logic and something I have to think about. Uh. Okay. Bomb count still sucks. I'm also gonna check tier one. Tier one might have also been blues. Is that what I just got? Nice. Yeah, I'll take this money. <sighs> I haven't even looked at the map yet. Yeah, so like this early in right now is like not really a great play, because all of this is in logic, but I find the mirror. Then I have to walk all the way back up Death Mountain a second time, when like that could be avoided potentially. Um, <sighs> but this was more to the oh, if Lumberjack is something, then Moon Pearl is gonna mean immediate Agnum instead of otherwise. And the, like I was also kind of hoping for something up here to have bombs as well, so that's also good. Uh, we got crystal, crystal, good crystal. Then seven, seven. Okay. So not all bad. Considering Mitz opens up a ton with Moon Pearl, this is actually pretty good because you could definitely try to put this off till you get a hook shot or a mirror. And with Mitz up here, um, you know, getting Moon Pearl gives me immediate Dark Hold access. So. But not all bad. Like, it's, it's very likely that people are going to have to go up Death Mountain. Um without mirror anyways, so it's very unlikely that's just a time loss for me, you know? <clears throat> there, of course, is a chance for sure, but there's no guarantee. Uh, you don't have to, um, Aeolkasi, uh, but you can. Depends on, like, how much you already know about the game. Uh, if you've never played the game and you're not entirely sure, like, what everything does or, like, you don't have a good, like, general idea of what things do or where things are, um, then I would recommend playing the vanilla game. Um, but if you know a good bit about the game already and you just haven't played it in a long time, uh, then I would... And you don't have to. You still can. But, like, playing through the game, vanilla is not going to help you find all of the chest locations, you know? Um, I could have fooled a hand here as well to get money. Um, ideally, there's a 300 rupee somewhere around here. Look, we're okay. But yeah, I got tempered. This is a shirt sword, so you start with the sword, and then I got um, master sword in the back of escape and tempered sword in blind's house.
<laughs> okay, so that's also better for my, uh, you know, my potential wasted time walking up Death Mountain without a mirror situation. That's good. Um, let's just save and quit. And then, happy lead. I got a hot one eleven. Yeah, yeah. I had to start this late because my run was decent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I just have to give my opponent a head start. But I got a one eleven forty something. I I didn't have time to like actually look at the time, but. <laughs> eh. Also, welcome to the stream, Master Gaming. Hope you're doing well, dude. Welcome, welcome. Uh, that was not a raid. That's literally, like, my own emote. <laughs> Alright, so I'm looking for three pendants and a crystal. Okay, that's good. Uh, pod, turtle rock, Meyer skull. Pod, TR, Meyer skull. Pod, TR, Meyer skull. Pod, TR, Meyer skull. Odd TR Meyer Skull. Yeah. Andy Big Brain, Andy Big Brain, Andy Big Brain, Andy Big Brain. Uh, Osmogon, thanks to the Hundo Bits, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Um, where's my alerts? Uh, Tech Mage, thanks to the 10 months of support as well. Appreciate you. I'll actually take the boomerang. Boomerang helps a lot with menus. So that, like, slight amount of time not getting it probably isn't worth it. They can't get two good seeds in a row, right? Although yesterday's was a mystery. Wow. Do I... Do I go do Smith Chain? I could do Smith Chain in its entirety. Not Hammer Pegs. Yo, Sprain Yard. Thanks for the tier one brand new sub. Appreciate you a lot. Welcome to the Pug Farm. Uh, I got a 107 yesterday. Yeah, there's a lot of options right now. It was a it was a really low 107. Like 106. 15 in game time.
Dude, I have Meyer access already. Minus the medallion. Nice, we got a bottle and a flute here, so that's good. We got money. Um, let's just... We, we, we can't really beat any... The only crystal we can beat is Hera. Uh, I can beat Thieves Town, but logically... I might be leaving something behind. I'm just going to go into pod right now. Just do it. I can mirror the eastern area if I want to. Um, <laughs> oh, all right, perfect. Blind Highly Island, dude. <laughs> um, I need a Fire Rod. We have Desert Access now, which is good. Fire Rod and Bow. Okay, so now I can actually logically beat Thieves Town no matter what. I can beat Hera. I can maybe... So, like, the reason I'm coming here... Like, Boots are here, and I probably need Boots for Desert. There's a... Like, Desert is, is usually boot locked. It definitely can be not boot locked. Um, but Boots being in pod... The only thing I can't do in pod right now, uh, no matter what, is just Helma, right? So, we're gonna do everything that we can in pod to try and get Boots. Eastern is beatable. How is Eastern beatable? What am I going to shoot at the Red Igors? Alright, well, we need a bow. <laughs> I can't get two good seeds in a row, guys. There's a bow and pod along with these boots, then <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, dude. This could be like legitimately one of the fastest seeds I've ever had if bow was also in here. Uh, so I might need the bow for boots, and I, if I need boots for desert, there's a chance that I need that bow for pod. Um, Okay, all of Pod is bow locked. So that's uh, boots are in here. Um, the Pod is bow locked. Um, doesn't really matter to me. The only thing that I need, I can't do, is Helmosaur. So I'm okay with this. Um, I don't have a potion in a bottle, so we're gonna have to mimic clip, which is pretty slow. But considering bow is go mode, uh, if I get boots in here then, like, I'm okay with that. Nice bomb drop. Yeah, I could, I could leave if I get boots early here, um, because, you know, like, all the rest of this is bow locked. 
Like, once I get boots, I could theoretically leave. There could be a second bow in here. There's no way to know. Depending upon wh where I get boots will make that decision for me, essentially. Um, and then there is the slight chance I don't get boots at all. Yeah, if, I, if I'm like, you know, if I've already done most of pot anyways, like if I find the boots in like the back, right? Like I could just do the rest of it real quick. And then, um, and then just, you know, it's off my mind. Uh, Kelsey with the raid. Thanks so much, babe. I appreciate you. Okay, we're gonna leave. This has to be a small key, so I don't. Well, I'll just get it, just in case I have to come back. We're already here. Um, if I hadn't jumped down already, then whatever. Hmm. Okay, so I think first play here is going to be Death Mountain. I can do literally everything on Death Mountain. Um, like, it would be nice to save Hera for last, but, uh, you know, there's too much stuff here. We're just needing Bow for Go Mode already. See is duty. Oh, Bizhot crashed? Fuck. That sucks. Heckin' Bizhawk. Anyways, welcome everyone. Uh, we're doing the Ambrosia Ladder Race. Um, we need Bow for Go Mode. Uh, so, because of the big key in the first chest here, any Like, the rest of Pod was technically Bow Locked. Sure, there could be the second bow in there, but like the amount of time I would have to take to check the rest of the chests for the bow didn't really. Um, what am I doing? Didn't really make sense with the whole dungeon being bow locked. Um. So, like, if the boots were in the back, I would have checked stuff that was close by. Because boots were where they were, I would have had to mirror and, like, go all the way to the back, you know? So, it just made more sense to leave. Due to the... Bow lock. Alright. There's also an item guaranteed on Helma. So, it's not like I could full clear the, the dungeon and leave no items behind. Ambrosia also guarantees a non-dungeon item on the bosses. Which is why I could skip that chest. Because we got the heart container in that chest, and we know the second item has to be on Yeah, there are two bows, so there, there very well could have been the second bow location in the back of pod. But, like I said, I'm not too worried about it right now. Um... I can beat swamps, skull, thieves, and ice, and desert. So, I have a lot of just stuff that I can do. Um, uh, right now. What's that emote? Couldn't tell it was on Squidward's nose and its hands. <laughs> oh man. Got a mushroom. you do it uh you just got to use the mirror while the block is moving it's real easy even your grandma can do it 
It is a, a Japanese 1.0 only glitch, though. It, can, it also only works in places where the mirror doesn't normally work. Which, like, in dungeons it has a function, and in the Dark World Overworld it also has a function. But anywhere else, there's blocks. You can get rid of them. If we end up getting a bow here, I'm feeling pretty good about this race. A nice wet farts. Hell yeah. Started speedrunning this game? Nice, Master Gaming. This is a fun game to speedrun. I don't care about Turtle Rock entry. Maybe I do care a little bit, actually. Now we have to do Spiral Cave, then we can save and quit. Yeah, we're gonna check it real quick. Okay, that's a uh, spooky. Spiral <laughs> uh, Cave. Practice Ice Palace Bomb Jump. Just uh, just learn sp I, uh, Icebreaker instead. Because Spiral Cave is the longest check on Death Mountain, and it's just a single cave. So I'd rather save it for last, since like there's a decent chance that the rest of it had a bow. the flute. Alright, so I still have all of North Dark Worlds, uh, Pyramid, Catfish, um, the rest of the pod is out of logic, so it's not gonna be anything I consider at all for the rest of the seed, essentially. Uh, there has to be another bow somewhere, so. Um, if there is one in there. Um, we're pretty much just gonna be cranking out Crystal Dungeons here for a little while. Everything else potentially has to be opened. Okay, everything else has to be open. The fastest seat I've done on YouTube? Yes. I mean, Ice Palace Bomb Jump is pixel precise. It's just there's different pixel combinations that work. Uh, 
Like, depending on your x-axis pixel, different y-axis pixels are needed. Um, so it, it is pixel precise. And not necessarily random orbit, like a bunch of the dungeons that I have to do, like most certainly can be faster and go moded. That's also why I'm doing the dungeons that can't really be go moded first. Like I'm going to do this Skullwoods, like with, with Ambrosia, Skullwoods is generally very fast as well. Um, but Desert will be next, uh, along with Mire area on the way. Um, but swamp and swamp and ice are the two big ones that are significantly faster if go moded. Go mode is just like I have all the items I need to beat the game. Because I need seven crystals, all seven crystals to get to Ganon's Tower. Like, when I get the ability to get all seven crystals, I don't need to check the game for anything else aside from keys and stuff. But Swamp Palace and Ice Palace don't need any items to get to their bosses. Like, any dungeon items, I should say. Like, you don't need to find the small keys or the big keys to beat those dungeons. So they're faster if you don't need to check anything. Do I like other Zelda games? I don't dislike any Zelda game. Alright, Turtle Rock is full clearable. I haven't played much of Skyward Sword. Um, I haven't played either of the DS games or the CDI games. But any Zelda game that I have experience playing, I have never disliked. <clears throat> I, uh, I played, like, I don't know, four hours or something of Skyward Sword, and then I ate your pie needed the disc back. I use, uh, an LCD. I didn't, I didn't dislike Skyward Sword from what I played of it. I just never... I never really had a Wii. I had a Wii, but it was at my mom's house, and so I never really, like, played it that much. And the whole front was garbage. That sucks. Uh, yeah, I have a, an R RGB modded Super Nintendo um, that I plug in to an OSSC, which is like a an upscaler. And so it upscales my upscales my RGB into HDMI uh, laglessly, and then I have a, a BenQ monitor. Uh, yeah, I use a. Well, I use the SNES Junior, which is the late model Super Nintendo. 
Yeah, that's why the quality is so good. I use like a, I use a BenQ Zowie 75 hertz monitor. I don't really need a 144 hertz monitor for playing retro console games. <laughs> I got one that's over 60 since the console runs at slightly over 60 FPS. Uh, the Rand is on the SNES with a cartridge called an FX Pack Pro. So we get the go mode, ice, and swamp. The big move at the moment was um, was me going to Death Mountain early. All right, get a Gummo Desert. <laughs> so what's up, Solsky? How's it going, buddy? Yeah, basically, like, everything else needed for Death Mountain being in the Dark World meant that those myths were required. Uh, so walking up Death Mountain was hard required. So doing that, like, really early ended up paying off, because I didn't do any flipper stuff. Um... Uh, yesterday's will be faster. tracking work with console, I do it all myself. You can auto-track it as well, but I track it all myself. Also, boots were required, so that pod dip was needed as well, which is good. I do, I mean, I do mostly rando. I've been doing more speedruns as of late, like, on the side as well. Um... I don't know. It like <laughs> I uh, I need breaks from speedruns. They're very mentally taxing. Um, we've also been playing a lot of Terraria lately because the the new patch just came out. But uh, I've been doing a lot of I've been doing Super Metroid any percent speedruns a bunch lately, and we've also been doing all dungeons RMG speedruns because I'm in a tournament for that. Carball. I, haven't, I actually haven't played Carball since Terraria released. 
I was mandatory. I mean, we don't need to go back to pod. It's a pendant. Um, but we needed, uh... We needed the boots from there. Yeah, the fairy just leads you to some treasure, essentially. Yeah, Super Metroid is a very, very difficult game. For sure. Nice. Didn't mean to dash there. Yeah, ant lanes are pretty pretty rough early on for sure. How's the AD turning going? First bow was in the back of Skull Woods, second bow was on land. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Everdrives and FX Pack Pros work with the original SNES. Um, you can probably choose what kind of case you get for it, uh, but they're normally done in the Super Famicom cases because um, US Super Nintendos can play all cartridges. You just need to remove the tabs in the back uh, of the cartridge slot. Uh, season one of the ladder is going to last 200 races with four races a day. Sub one hour? No. Not even close. That's a lie. Maybe close. But most likely not. I would need a very, very early big key. Nice. Hell yeah to being caught up on shit. Uh, cause I still need to beat Ice and Eastern. Um. Yeah, there's no way. Like, even, even with a, a first chest big key, second chest small key or something in GT, there's no way that that's happening. I mean, the league isn't a tournament. The league does not require people to schedule matches against each other. That's why online tournaments take so long. It's because it's not, like, up to the organizers entirely to get people to schedule matches. It's like SG Live fit in a pretty large tournament in a weekend because everyone's there and you're just, like, expected to play this many races in a couple days, right? But online, you know, you're you're not necessarily like scheduling time off of work to <laughs> to race rando. Or like, you know, you find out your opponent, um, and then you know, then you start talking about scheduling. Oh, I have work from like this day to this day. Uh, time zones are also an issue if you end up playing somebody from Europe or even just like the other side of the US. There's definitely time zone issues. Um, or if someone's on the west coast, someone's on the east coast. Um, you end up running into some issues because of that. Yeah, like, also the online tournaments are just usually pretty big. 
Because, like, they have qualifiers, and then, you know, there's just a lot of people in them. There was the one really long tournament that was, like, seven weeks of Swiss. <laughs> that had 512 entrants in it. Fat tournament. Cold stare my bitch this time. Mostly. <clears throat> uh, TKO gifting a sub the wet farts. Welcome to the pug farm wet farts. Hope you hope you enjoy those emote though those emotes. Uh, give TKO a big ol' thank you. Thanks so much, dude. What are ladder races? Exclamation mark ladder. It's basically like a ranked matchmaking system for a link to the past randomizer. Hoping hookshot here just because if Big Key's not in the first chest, hookshot is the fastest item to get the second chest, and it also lets me get quick spin speed here. Quick super speed. Um, yeah, online tournaments just take a while. It's just the nature of it. Unless, unless your, your goal is to have, like, a relatively small, like, weekend tournament where you're like, hey, if you're signing up for this, you're agreeing to, you know, do this tournament in the one weekend, then, like, you know, that's fine. But those don't happen very often in speedrunning. Uh, or randomizer at all. So... Also, a lot of these tournaments don't really have prize money or anything, so, you know, there's no real, like, obligation to, like, even want to do a short tournament like that. Just because, oh, do I want to spend, like, an entire weekend of my life, um, <laughs> you know, doing randomizer just for a silly tournament. So, like, the big tournaments are nice because you can, you can schedule them, like, on your own time, you know. That's also why they take so long. Alright, so let's do that. Uh, one bow was back a skull, one bow was on land molds. Uh, it's been going pretty well. Got a PB in all dungeons. And then we're doing this race. Which I've played the race pretty well. I did end up starting this race like 30 seconds late. Because I PB'd in all dungeons. <laughs> uh, I, like, I was assuming the run wasn't going to be that great. So I, you know, started expecting to, like, cut it short. Because it was bad. <laughs> but with a run that had legitimate PB chance, I couldn't just, you know, call it quits. Yeah, it counts my time when I dot done. But, like, it's a global timer, so, like, right when the race started, it started. Because I started late, that 30 seconds or so was a penalty to me, essentially, for starting late. So it won't take my, like, physical timer into account. It'll take, like, the actual race time. Oh, fuck off. Um, so, like, the only thing that I really did that I didn't have to do is Death Mount. If I had chosen to do, like, not Hera and do, you know, Desert or Thieves Skull, whatever, I would have been able to skip the entirety of Death Mountain. So that's probably, like, the longest string of checks that I didn't do. 
um, but that I didn't have to do. There was nothing on Death Mountain. This might be a tad faster than my... With a, with a good big key, this could be faster than yesterday's race, for sure. Yesterday's race also only needed uh, six crystals and not seven. Am I right? I'm racing Louie. God gave her Louie. Did you ever tie in the race? I did make a one second difference with my opponent today. <laughs> Yo, Alkaline Ace, thanks for the 500 bits. There's actually a really hype tie. Uh, back... I think it was like the Fall 2018 tournament or something. Uh, me and Zero Rush were racing in the quarterfinals of the tournament. Uh, we had split game one and two, it was best of three. And we tied in game three, so we needed a game four in our best of three set. Uh, that was fucking sick. Like, highly recommend watching that shit. That shit was so cool. <laughs> it was bonkers. That was also like both of us skipped Aghanim, like forced Aghanim requirement to get the pod with the uh, fairy revival fake flipper. <laughs> we just did it at different times. He did it a little earlier than I did. That was so cool. <laughs> Like, once we tied, we were talking in the IRC channel, like, what the hell, dude, this is nuts. Like, did you also skip Agnim? It was like, yeah. <laughs> it was a really cool race to watch back. All right, we got four, five. Come on, give me the fast big key. Eight. <laughs> yeah, my knowledge on current swordless route isn't as good. Uh, can ask checks to make a tutorial. He's been rerouting it like crazy as well, so. I don't even know if the route is the same as from when I ran it recently. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get rid of all my bombs because I don't need them. Oh shit. Alright, well that kind of sucks because I'm stupid. I forgot I needed that chest. Ideally, I run out of bombs there. Number 15. <clears throat> uh, having, well, so at the end of GT, I want to have zero bombs in my inventory. Um, because I need them at the end of GT. And I want to get rid of my bombs by then. So that it's like a free, um, it's a free, uh, like one less menu input. So it saves, you know, like barely any time, but it saves some time. Uh, 
Uh, no, all the chests are randomized. It's just in most modes, the, dun the dungeons still have all of their unique dungeon items in them. So, like, every dungeon will still have all of its small keys, the big key, map, and compass. God, I'm so stupid. Um, but that's not always the case. Uh, because I don't need any more big items. Oh, shit. Please. Yeah, so every dungeon, like in the in the normal modes that don't involve shuffling all the keys and stuff, um, every dungeon has like a set amount of possible chests that can have key items in them, um, like non-dungeon item chests, I suppose. Um, oh, menu. But then the overall, like anything can be anywhere, basically. I have 10 bombs. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I did pick up a, a ton of bombs after dumping them. I had to hit some angles there. I'm getting rid of my bombs here, so the next thing I want is um, silver arrows. And so this makes it, because getting rid of my bombs menus me to mushroom, it gives me one less menu input to get to silvers. And if I don't have the mushroom, this also puts me on the fire rod, um, which is also another item you might want to have next if you're doing torch glitch. GT Big Key was behind Armos. Uh, self-taught? Not entirely. Um, but when I started learning this game speedrun-wise, there was very little resources out, out there, where there's a ton now. This game is much more accessible now. 
105. This is my best time in God knows how long in a regular setting seed, basically. This is still a very difficult game. Yeah, with silvers, you don't really want Torch Glitch. GG. I won. Uh, real time. Yo, it was exactly 30 seconds. <laughs> the bot said I finished with a 106.15, so basically 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, good good stream so far. <laughs> PB in all dungeons, and then uh got a one hundred five forty six. Good at a race. I beat Freddy. Freddy. Oh, he's in desert right now. He only has desert left. Desert Nahara left. Oh, he's playing as Ori. Yeah, I, I god routed the seed pretty hard. Um, He left one thing in Thieves Town. So he might have, like, Hammer might have been an issue for him if he, like, didn't do Flipper stuff and didn't see Hammer there. Um... It'd be interesting to see what happened. If he also did, like, North Route into Pod instead of South Route into Pod, he misses Mirror there, which also le directly leads to Hammer, you know? Um, looks like he did everything in Pod except for the boss. So he also, um, so he also didn't bail after boots. Yeah, I think the mitts as early as I got them was really good. He could have done Eastern early as well. Like getting pearl with just a glove, you could go Sahasha. Like, so if you if you don't do Death Mountain early, you end up doing South Shore. Maybe you do the Flipper stuff, um, and then you you have Eastern or Eastern area, which is like a guaranteed five items without a bow, or you have Death Mountain, which is two things without Hookshot or Mirror, right? So. He probably did Eastern without a bow early. Um. Oh yeah, he also did Aga. So yeah, that's a, a pretty significant time loss. Like he's still gonna get a really good time. This will be like a, a sub 120, I think. So yeah, me me making that early Death Mountain play was probably really good. Then Village of Outcast had Hookshot. Um, yeah, like <laughs> just the way I ended up routing this, not much else could like nothing went wrong. Like, Aga is a very viable decision there, too. Because, like, Eastern without a bow kind of sucks, because you're guaranteed leaving an item behind. It still has five items. So, it's still a tough, 
call to make Aghanim over. Like, it'd be one thing if you hadn't done escape yet, but with standard opening, you know, you're... And then also, like, bombs just there. You're just going to Aga, which, with Pearl there, is still an okay play because, you know, boots are there. That's also why I did the Death Mountain early play, to see Lumberjack, because I knew that Aga into boots, if Lumberjack was something good, would have been the play. I'm going to go use the restroom. We'll be back.